Sydney Sweeney has been getting plenty of attention of late and has a new movie called Immaculate. It's a horror movie that's trying to find its own space in the crowded church nun horror idiom. So how is it? Should you watch it in theaters or wait to stream it at home? Well, let's talk about it. It's a miracle. Hey guys, welcome back to Pop Radio. I'm Danny Alex. I'm a screenwriter here in Tinseltown, Hollywood, or as I like to call it, Ground Zero. And this is a spoiler-free review. At the end, I'll give you my score out of 10, so check it out. When I went to go see Immaculate, I had absolutely no idea what it was about. And that was the way I wanted it. I knew it starred Sydney Sweeney and that she was a nun that moved to a church in Italy. And that's really about it. I went into it blind because I wanted to experience the screenplay and story with 100% fresh ears from the beginning. In screenwriting, it cannot be stressed enough that the first three pages, the very first opening scene, has to grab your audience's attention and get them invested into the main central conflict of your movie. Otherwise, you may have a hard time getting their audience engaged and pretty much every industry executive charged with reviewing scripts will toss it into the trash if you're trying to get it into the studio system. Garbage, garbage, garbage. It's that competitive. The opening scene of Immaculate piques your interest interest, but it really doesn't give you much information about what the movie is about. It gives you a few clues such as the people at this church are most likely not dealing with a full deck and gives you the feeling that it's more of a cult that resides within rather than a devout Christian congregation. Enter Sydney Sweeney, Sister Cecilia, a young woman from Michigan who has found her calling in life and is taking her vows to become a nun at this Italian church. The movie slowly gives you the feeling that the people at this aged church tucked away in the Italian countryside are not what they seem to be. Something is not right and the movie drips more and more oddities at you to give you a sense of unease. But you aren't sure if it's supernatural or whether the elders that run this place of worship are more of a fanatical cult than a devout Catholic congregation. By the midway point, the movie gives you enough clues that you're able to start piecing it all together. Immaculate has some fairly gory scenes and director Michael Mohan had the special effects department busy with plenty of blood that adds to the overall tone and feel of this movie. Some of my best award-winning screenplays that I've written have been in the horror genre and if you're interested, The Sicken is one of mine that has had huge success at film festivals around the world. So I do understand the mechanics of writing and creating a horror-based story that captures the audience's attention. The things that scare us are different from person to person. For me, hack and slash movies really don't do a thing. But a good psychological horror movie with demonic possession? Now you're talking my language, baby. That shit I love. Immaculate definitely puts itself into a specific horror category. And I don't want to say too much and ruin the movie for you. It can be a little slow at the beginning, so if you're going into the movie lacking sleep from the night before, you may find yourself dozing off if the opening few scenes haven't grabbed you. There are some interesting twists throughout the movie and an ending that some may find disturbing. But that is what a horror movie is supposed to do. Make you feel uneasy, scared, or that much more afraid of the dark. And with a small $10 million budget, Immaculate shouldn't have a problem becoming a profitable release. Immaculate isn't one of those movies like The Ring that will give you serious eebie-jeebies, nor is it a movie that will keep you at the edge of your seat for two hours. It has its own pacing that is definitely on the slower side, but there's enough going on in the movie to keep your curiosity engaged. It's a good movie for Sydney Sweeney as she acts out her character convincingly, as does the rest of the cast. The acting and actors were all pretty good. The sets are decent, as are the costumes. The question as to whether you should see this movie in theaters or wait to stream it is going to be based on whether you like horror movies and then what kind of horror movies you like. If you like religious Catholic based horror films that make you whisper no way to yourself, then you should take a shot at seeing Immaculate in the theaters. Women will definitely find this movie much more disturbing than men. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving Immaculate a 6.5. It's an okay average horror movie that won't give you any extreme nightmares because you saw it. Well, hopefully. <laughs> if you like what you heard, I thank you for watching. And if you didn't like it, well, I do thank you for watching the whole video. And I will see you in our next one.